I'm making this video because I realized something the other day that made me incredibly sad. It usually takes a lot to get me to this point that I'm in right now, but this one hit really fucking hard. What do you think about the fact that 2015 is already 10 years ago? I want to end myself. Easy. I won a tournament in uh, 2013, a magic tournament. Magic tournament? Which is uh, over 10 years ago. Bro, if you think that's bad, you gotta know how old the Wii actually is. <laughs> Now I can already imagine what your reaction to this information sounds like right now. Wait, what? Time out! What? How? Wh where the fuck did all that time go? One minute I'm sitting here watching offensive memes, eating Doritos and drinking Mountain Dew, and suddenly everything has turned so inclusive, accepting and politically correct. And you know what? I get it. I feel the same fucking way. I, I still don't understand how we as a society went from bullying someone in their entire bloodline for missing a no-scope in Modern Warfare 2 lobbies to people crying over the misuse of pronouns. Honestly, this world's been crashing down faster than those two towers on 9-11 did. Oh, say you can't say that anymore! That's really offensive and hurtful! People have died! If that's you, then I have one thing to tell you. Stop being such a fucking cunt. Remute. Look, I get it. The world changes every day, but since I'm clearly never going to live up to the expectations of a world that won't stop moving, I can't help but look back at a time when I at least felt something more than just a slow creep towards my own inevitable death. Back then, YouTube was at its peak, Harambe was still alive, and OF only stood for Optifine, and not some degenerate website where people drop like $20 a month to watch their favorite celebrity get railed by some uh, random dude. And compared to 2015, everything's changed for the worse. Take the internet, for example. Back in 2015, the internet was fucking wild. You had shit like dad boy, MLG memes, and edgy humor flying everywhere. Hell, you had ear rape. That's probably the reason why I haven't been able to hear as good as I used to anymore, but... That's besides the point. Those were the good memes. The, the, the funny memes that I still talk about to this day. And now, now it's all turned to shit. The normies and corporations came in and also Beach fortress the whole fucking thing. But instead of already killing dying men, they killed the fun. They sucked all the life out of the internet. W why? Why would you do that? Y you remember those days, right? When you could just log in and see a funny meme that would actually make you laugh? W where are all the good memes? A are they buried somewhere? Why can't we just find them? Why am I still single? The sad thing about the state of the internet is honestly just this fake inclusivity bullshit. Everything's more safe, everything's more inclusive, and it's about as fucking fun as a fucking colonoscopy. And that, my dear viewer, brings me to 720p. Oh boy, 720p. Huh? How did we get here? W what happened? Back in 2015, 720p was the shit. It was the future. It was crisp. It was clear. It was like dipping your favorite mug into glacier water and pulling out the best cup of water that you'll ever drink. But now, it, it looks like ass. It looks like fucking ass. What? Why does it look like ass? What? Why? Why is it so blurry? Why does 720p in 2024 look like it has been run into the ground like every city run by Democrats? I, isn't that bananas? Even Democrats back then were based. Back in my day, Democrats bombed the hospital in Afghanistan and still received the Nobel Peace Prize for it, while modern Democrats can't even read the teleprompter correctly. And the politicians that sat in the House of Representatives are still the politicians sitting wait, wait and sadly even video games have turned to shit i mean in 2015 we had the witcher 3 one of the best games that released so far it had everything a nice story enjoyable combat y yennefer and, and nowadays we get trash like concord that costs more than 200 million dollars to make only to get shut down after like what two weeks comes out no one cares kills itself Finally, some proper LGBTQIA representation to tell you that, but holy fucking shit. Star Wars Outlaws is no different. I I've seen people compare it to Assassin's Creed Black Flag, a game from 2013. A and Black Flag, ha it had everything. It had a vast world design. It had very nice characters. And the, the character, the main character even does that silly little walk into the water. Uh, let's see Star Wars Outlaws as uh, water physics. Oh. Look man, things have gotten so bad that I've started keeping track of, a f of 2024 with a fucking bingo card. Let's see what we've got so far. Um, y YouTuber exposed as a predator? Check. Two, two Trump assassination attempts? Check. Activision killing two fan-made projects where someone put their heart and soul into it? Check. Meeting Say of the Fox? Honestly, highlight of the year by the way. 
check. Now all that's left is Nico Cardo Avocado becoming skinny again and uh... BINGO! Why isn't it exploding? I thought it would be funny if I would actually shoot one but... Oh! Come on! Please pop! Please pop! Oh, pop! Get in the car, Come on. kids! Why, why aren't you popping? Why aren't you popping? I, I wasn't not popping. Should be popping, right? Yeah. The the confetti cannon that I bought doesn't work. Well, that saves me cleaning up all that shit. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You know, there's a lot of people out there that talk about how change over the years is good, and maybe it is. Especially when it comes to the House of fucking Representatives. Like, how the fuck is Nancy Pelosi still in there? But with everything that has happened over the span of those 10 years, it has felt like we were losing a little more of what made life fun, spontaneous, and, you know, human. The world's changing faster than we can keep up, and we're all just trying to hold on to something. A anything that makes sense, you know? It's like we're being forced to grow up too fast. We we've been told to move on, to adapt, and to accept that the world isn't what it used to be. And maybe that's true, but... I'm just not ready. I don't want to give up a part of me that still remembers when things were simpler, when we could laugh without overthinking every little thing. Like, there's this quote that says that only those who grow up and keep their inner child alive are truly human. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Hold on to that inner child, that part of me that still finds joy in the chaotic, the edgy, and the raw. And that's why I want to take a minute to look back at some 2015 memes, to remind myself of a better time when uh, we as people didn't have so many troubles as we have in today's society. How it feels to chew five gum. New five gum. Stimulate your senses. Diabetes. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. Holy fucking shit! Those memes suck fucking ass. Holy fuck!